Hello everyone and welcome to the ultimate guide of the Mad Cats Pro X gaming mouse. This video is really more of a review than a ultimate guide but basically I'm going to show you how to use everything on the mouse. It's basically to show off what the mouse can do and how to do all the stuff that it can do. So, main features of the mouse. Well, it's got interchangeable everything from the feet to the grip to even the scroll wheel at the front and now I'm gonna go show you how to do that so we're gonna start with the back palm rest grip here it's like a slidey kind of thing where it uses latches to hold on so uh, unlike the previous generation uh, of cyborg rep mice they came with sort of like a latch here that you'd press down and you'd be able to drag it off like this and it had a latch right there but uh, on this mouse it's a lot different and a lot simpler all you have to do is just use brute force don't worry you won't break it. it's designed to do this you just pull back and you can pull it Phew. and I just opened every program on my computer by doing that <laughs> Uh, oh jeez, I've oh, go, you know, off, 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 close, runtime error, yes, screw you, anyway, back to what we were doing, so, that's how you take off the back, it's very difficult, but that's how it's done, so, it's got like a little grip teeth system there and it's like really simple and really hard at the same time it's kind of a good and a bad thing on how to do that the thumb and the pinky grip can both be replaced now unlike the previous generation of uh, mad cuts mice where only the pinky grip could be taken off it's exactly the same as the previous I'll only be able to show you on the previous generation because I don't have the Allen key for this right now on me for the video so it's exactly the same you just get your Allen key and you untighten and retighten uh, to take off and put on the pinky and thumb rest it comes with like three or two um, interchangeable pieces for the part for the, the mouse so it's got a lot of customizability to it. So that's how you take the thumb and the pinky off. I'm just going to put this back on. Ah, oh, right, finally, there we go. Okay, it's back on. It took like a minute to get it back on. It's really difficult, all right? So, it, you can click it all the way to the front, and you can click it back up to two times before it'll come off completely. I like to have it back two times for my hand, as it is uh, rather large, so it's it fits very nicely. So, the next thing we're gonna talk about is the scroll wheel to, uh, uh, to change the scroll wheel yeah so next we're going to lift up the entire scroll wheel by simply pushing up from the underside and pushing up all the way like this and it and it uh, it's sort of like a half transformer state it looks very weird so yes to replace the scroll wheel completely all you have to do is pull this off thankfully surprisingly this is actually easier than the back so there we go it's uh, almost off just a little more ah, there we go so that's the scroll wheel right there looks very nice and uh, the mouse comes with two extra wheels for your um, customizing pleasure it's got a little uh, bevel on this side uh, which you line up with like a chrome ring on this side to make sure you put it on correctly otherwise it won't work and uh, putting it on is even easier than taking it off there you go so there we have it so you can also adjust the tightness of the wheel by uh, adjusting the red 
um, Allen screw there. And then when you're all done, you just press down and it's back to normal again. So, the next thing we're going to talk about is the interchangeable feet. All of this stuff is fully removable and uh, it comes with two feet one for uh, very low friction and one for very high friction. Although the one that says very low friction has, actually has more friction than the low friction, so it's kind of weird, but it's you know, basically the black it comes with a black and white one the black one is uh, more slippery than the right the, the, the white one so and the final thing we're going to look at is the sensor you can get three sensors for this there's two lasers and there's one optical this is the optical one because I personally like uh, optical sensors way better than laser I just find them more reliable really and you can take that off by just pressing your finger there and it's off it's completely removed so this is the sensor not only is it a sensor it also acts as a memory card you know like how the PlayStation 1 2 days were around you know so <clears throat> this memory card holds all of your uh, programming for the mouse and you just simply hover that over there press lightly and it should go in very nicely and it shows a number showing what profile you're currently using it goes up to nine profiles so you can have a lot of things programmed for the mouse a I don't really know what that does to be honest I really really don't know mad cats need to shine light on that so let me put the feet back on and then we'll move on to the next part of the tutorial which is the programming so here we are the programming we are now going to open up the software for this mouse which you download from Madcats themselves and for this tutorial I am going to make a tutorial profile so all we have to do is go all the way to the left and you see this little thing here you click the arrow to the right and here we have our profiles so I have my own profile set and then there's the default one you need to ignore the default one at all costs because that just creates problems so for every profile numbered one to nine we're going to create a profile for each one of those numbers so for profile one we're going to create a profile so we're going to double click that and call it tutorial I always tutorial one I always spell tutorial wrong for some reason I don't know so anyway we have tutorial one selected so here we are Here's all of our buttons and uh, functions that we can use to really play around with and we can do some stuff. My favorite kind of thing I like to do is I like to use the, the uh, strafe wheel as a volume controller and that is very simple to do. You just get volume minus and volume plus here and there. You just find where you want to put it and here we are. I've set the scroll tilt as a volume controller and we click apply so hopefully hopefully the software is a bit buggy and uh, it's very experimental I think mad cats need to come out with new updates for the software but hopefully when I move the scroll wheel yeah look at that I'm controlling the volume with my middle finger <laughs> alright so that's all done Right now, my DPI is very low, so the mouse cursor moves very slow for what I'm doing. So, we're going to go down here, click the cog, and we're going to change the DPI to something that you want. My personal liking is the, the uh, 400s, the 1400, 2400, and the 3400 settings. That's just personally what I like, but for you it's going to be a lot different, so I'm just going to click apply for that, and now it feels perfectly natural for me. So the next thing we're going to do is look at the DPI switch, nothing really much here. This button here on top is the DPI switch, just like the uh, previous generation of mice. There's a DPI switch there, and when you pressed it, it would go through the cycle. So when we look at this it's exactly the same this has three dpi settings as i just showed you and it cycles through them all you can change which button does that but by default it's dpi because that's what it's designed for but you can also have the dpi up and dpi down button set but they're not set to anything by default so i just leave those alone the precision aim button 
located here can be changed to something else if you want and you can change how much precision aim you want so here I'm pressing down the button and the cursor is moving very slowly so personally I don't like to use the precision aim function I just don't find it really that useful I just prefer to move the mouse slower to uh, do my sniping in Call of Duty but uh, anyway moving on to poll rate this is basically how much information is sent to the computer from the mouse no real need to play around with this just leave it alone angle snap again just leave it alone unless you want to really fill around with these features setting the rotax if you happen to hold your mouse like some kind of crazed hand fool like uh, 45 degrees to the left and you move it left and right it's going to deviate the mouse you can use this function to correct for that deviation and uh, really get it level again so I'm going to set that to normal because I hold my mouse normally so here we are okay lift off height it's what it sounds like it's how much uh, gap between the surface and the mouse you want to be able to have it input strafe axis and uh, this is more of like a calibration for the left and right tilt wheel so just leave that alone for now so let's go back to programming and set a basic rapid fire function for the rat mouse so here we go custom uh, we just find all of the different tabs here we're going to go to custom create a custom command and we're going to name this rapid fire so you can change the image to something that you may want but uh, i'm just going to leave that no alone for now so let's go to advanced mode for the uh, programming and we're really going to be playing around with the repeat mode basically it means whenever uh, this command is in motion it will repeat so long as it uh, doesn't reach the end or the button is still being pressed down which I'll explain later so we're just going to do a few clicks for the rapid fire just to get it knowing what we want it to do so it's recorded our mouse clicks so uh, what it's showing us is it clicks down holds it for 43 milliseconds then releases then clicks down holds it for 67 milliseconds then releases it this isn't actually what we want it to do so what we're going to do is we're going to right click set all of these millisecond timings to zero apply all and you'll see that it's uh, deleted them all so the next thing we're going to do is we're now going to make it uh, click down up release for so long click down up release for so long if you catch my drift so here we go click down click up so uh, back to click down we're going to set a timing for about uh, 85 seconds and then we're going to repeat that for the next steps in the process all right so we've got that set so we set this to open because what we want to do is we want to have it when we press a button down it's going to keep going through this cycle over and over again until we release whereas if it was closed you'd press it once and it would go through four clicks one two three four clicks and then it would stop but we want it to open because rapid fire obviously means we want it to keep going as long as we need it so <clears throat> For the final step in this simple rapid fire process we're going to have a release function basically we want to avoid uh, having a lockdown of the left mouse click if we release the the uh, the, ma the macro of this function at the wrong time so release we're just going to do one click delete the down click of this one it'll show an exclamation mark here we're going to right click set this to one millisecond and apply so that's good so <clears throat> I'm gonna set this example to this precision aim button because that's what I like to use the button for as if we hold down the button and keep it held down it's gonna go through these instructions over and over again for an infinite amount of time until we let go in which case it'll follow these instructions to release the left click which returns the mouse to normal and it's not clicking anymore so we click OK now we have our custom command set there 
make sure we are on tutorial one for our profile and we simply drag rapid fire over here and we click apply but before we're done we need to close the software and we need to go here and you see this little icon here you right click and you see the different profile numbers for the mouse so uh, we're currently on one so it's currently got one highlighted so we're currently in the correct option but if say it was using a different profile and you didn't want that you have number one highlighted look it goes through the different cycles as the numbers go through you highlight number one and you choose tutorial one so hopefully with everything set fingers crossed we should have rapid fire at the ready and to test that we're going to use we're going to use a left click uh, speed test so here we are this is my real finger clicking speed so I think I can usually get about nine to ten clicks a second which is I guess okay but uh, that's very tiring I'm very lazy and I, of course I want the ultimate amount of power within my mouse so hopefully with everything set I've got it set to this button here hold down oh yeah look at that 15 clicks a second and we are just relaxing here we're just doing all the stuff we could be doing uh, maybe thinking about something like aiming whilst also being able to click real fast and we're able to just sit back and relax whilst it clicks nice and quick so that is the uh, basic rapid fire setup for this mouse you can do all kinds of stuff for this custom thing but obviously uh, that's all I have time for in this video I hope you found it useful and if I missed anything out please leave a comment and maybe leave a subscribe I would like that very much no, the camera the camera's a bit zoomed in right now so yes hope you enjoyed this video I will see you in the next video bye bye